Sometimes things that seem like a gift turn out to be something else entirely. Some might say sulfide mining brings jobs and an economic boost, but let's look at what history and science can teach us. Sulfide mining is the process of removing ores such as gold, copper, zinc, nickel, and silver from beneath the ground. In the mining process, deep pits are dug. They often need to be dewatered, which impacts surface waters, private wells, and aquatic critters. Cyanide, sulfuric acid, and heavy metals are all associated with the mining process, making it extremely toxic to humans and wildlife. In fact, a report from the US EPA shows that metal mining is America's most toxic industry, accounting for a whopping 37% of all toxics reported. Then the pollution starts. And keep in mind there has yet to be a sulfide mine that has not polluted. Toxins leach from the mining waste and head for our drinking water and theirs. So how about the gift of jobs and boost to the local economy? Of course, everyone wants that. But in the case of sulfide mining, it's a real bait and switch. Mining communities across the U.S. are noted for high levels of unemployment, high poverty rates, and stagnant or declining populations. On top of that, mining in the U.S. is estimated to pollute up to 27 billion gallons of fresh water per year forever. Someone has to pay to treat this water, and it won't be the mining companies. Taxpayers will face an estimated 57 to 67 billion dollars per year, a debt our children and grandchildren will pay just to have clean water. So if someone tries to present sulfide mining as a gift to your state or community, tell them to hit the road. It's never been done safely and without polluting drinking water, killing wildlife, and leaving locals to pay for the mess. While mining companies get rich and ride off into the sunset.